Okay, let me show you how to set up a private Google Plus community in a way that we found really helped our GP peer mentorship group. First step is to set up Google and Google Plus accounts. I'm not going to cover this in this presentation, um, but you'll find guides on YouTube and elsewhere uh, if you need help. Second step is to create a GP confidential community. That's what we call the uh, uh, private group anyway. Um, third step is to add members to that community. Fourthly, create an anonymous page. That's the key feature of this system. Um, more of that later. And fifthly, as a result of setting up the anonymous page, I'll show you, show you how you can post anonymously or openly. So, I'm going to assume you've set up your Google and Google Plus accounts. Um, next step is to create the community. So go to Google Plus, just type plus.google.com in your browser uh, address bar, uh, and then you'll you'll see the Google Plus page come up, and in the top left hand corner of the Google Plus page, you'll get this view. Uh, move your mouse cursor over to the icon underneath the Google Plus logo. It'll probably say Home, as mine does there. And as you do that, menu will appear. Run the mouse cursor down that menu and click on Community. Then you get a page looking rather like this. If you've not created a community before, it'll probably be um, empty. Um, but these are the communities that uh, um, I've uh, uh, got anything to do with. So on this page, click the Create Community button. Then you are asked to make a choice. Do you want a private community or a public community? Important that you get this right because it can't be changed later. So click on the private box. Then click in the text box under what you want to call it. Give it a, 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 a whatever name you choose. Um, we're going to call this group GP Confidential 1. And then in the next section below, under can people search for your community uh, choose which which you like um, if you want to keep your compu community completely secret then you'll want to choose hide it from searches um, but that will make it harder for uh, your members to find the community so I think for the purposes of simplicity select yes people can find it and ask to join for now then click on the Create Community button. After you've done that, you've got the uh, uh, community page that comes up, the community setup page. As Google Plus suggests, um, you can add a tagline in the box below the name of the community. Um, you can even add a photo um, uh, to give your community a little bit of character. Um, um, I'm going to go straight here to change the discussion categories because this is uh, really the, uh, the, uh, the, the heart of your community. You'll see below the logo here on the left hand side, uh, it, the default category there is discussion. Uh, that's a little vague. I would suggest you change the name of that. So run the mouse cursor down to the discussion and click on that. And I would suggest changing the name of that to cases. That's what we did anyway and that'll be and that'll be the heart of the community where members can post cases or uh, scenarios uh, that they need support with. Um, we also added a few other categories that we found helpful. You may like to do likewise just to get started. Uh, so click on the Add Category label, uh, Add More Categories. you see the ones that worked for us were an Admin Category, just uh, so that we could exchange uh, details about how the community was operating just on a technical level um, and the next category we chose was how was it for you um, so we could sort of debrief how the discussions had gone and uh, uh, determine if ground rules had needed tweaking or anything like that and lastly um, we found it helpful to have a chat area for more informal conversation You then get the opportunity to share the community on Google+. 
you're probably not going to want to do this um, unless you want to advertise it uh, widely uh, so click the cancel button okay so that's it you've set up the community itself next step is to add members uh, so this is a page that you should still be on um, um, you'll see on the right hand side there is an, an invite people button and on this on the next page that comes up um, you have the opportunity, opportunity at the top to add an invitation message to people I've left that blank for now but uh, you may like to add a friendly message to explain to people uh, uh, that it is the uh, uh, private community that they're expecting to be invited to and below the icon for the group um, we've got the two box that'll initially be uh, empty click on that and then start typing the names of uh, the people you want to invite to your group uh, they must have a Google Plus account already uh, and that being the case as you type their name um, their name and their uh, icon if they've got one should pop up below um, and when you see it just click on their uh, on their name or icon um, as I am about to do there with Sam and repeat that process until you've added all the members that you want okay so that's that stage done the next stage is the slightly more fiddly uh, bit although it's relatively straightforward and that's creating the anonymous page um, and that will enable uh, uh, any member to post within your community without you being able to know which one of the group is posting um, and until you've built up trust in, in, within your peer support group that can be a really useful mechanism just to get people's confidence up the next step create the anonymous page um, here we go back to the main Google Plus um, page that you'll still be on on the top left hand corner you'll see that familiar icon uh, at the moment it's showing the community's icon uh, run the mouse cursor over to that the menu appears and run down and click on pages on the next screen click on the get your page button on this screen I'm not sure if it matters too much what you choose for the purposes of this demonstration I'm clicking on the brand uh, picture there Okay, now this is the first page of uh, creating your uh, first the first spoon for creating your Google Plus page. Give it a name. I've called it GP Anonymous One to match the name of our community, um, and uh, quite evidently the type of page we're uh, setting up here doesn't match any of the standard descriptions. So I'm selecting other of the type of page. Next step, you have the opportunity to tour Google My Business. I think I'll, uh, s uh, I'll, I'll skip that. Now, on the screen that comes up next for your uh, page, you'll see an icon in the top right hand corner. It looks a bit like a cogwheel. Google calls it a gear icon. Um, click on that and then on the menu that comes down click on settings and now this is the key bit really um, click on the managers tab there and then click on the add managers button now you'll need to invite every single member of the group that you've invited in the previous section uh, to manage this page and you do that in exactly the same way that you invited them to the group and once you've once you once all of their names are appearing in that in that box click on the invite button there we go that's uh, Sam's name there if we had other members of the group which I hope you will uh, you would click on the add more people keep going and then put on the invite Okay, so that's set up your uh, uh, anonymous page. So now the next step, you'll see 
if you look at the top right hand corner of the screen you'll see that now you are using Google Plus as the new page you are clearly one of the managers of the page and therefore uh, you are using Google Plus as the get page if you were to make a post it would appear to be from GP Anonymous 1 rather than you so with that in mind you need to uh, allow GP Anonymous 1 to find the GP Confidential 1 group. So in the search box of Google Plus, type GP Confidential 1 and click the search button. And then in the next screen, click on the Communities tab. And there should appear the group that you've set up, the GP Confidential 1 community. Click on the Ask to, jo to Join button. Okay, so that's it. You've associated, you've joined the uh, joined the anonymous page with the group. Um, now you want to switch back into using Google Plus as yourself. So if you look at the top right hand corner of the screen, you'll see that funny blue icon, uh, which represents the GP Anonymous One um, persona. Click on that, and then run down the drop-down menu until you find your name. Click on. Okay, and now you're back to using Google Plus as yourself. You'll see your name is in the top right hand corner of the screen, um, and um, hopefully the GP Confidential One group um, is uh, appears in front of you. If not, you'll have to find it in the way that we did earlier, and you'll see that there's a member request from GP Anonymous One. Clearly, you want to approve that request, so click on the approve button. Okay, now that's done. You've created the anonymous page. Now let's show you how the group um, could operate. So, say I had had a tough day at work um, and I wanted to um, uh, wanted to uh, share a case with the group get some support, get some advice, um, um, and I wanted to make an anonymous post in the group. Um, I'm on Google+. Plus. You can see the icon of myself in the top right hand corner of the screen. Click on that, and then find the GP Anonymous 1 uh, name in the menu that drops down there. Click on that, and now you're using Google Plus as GP Anonymous 1. Go to the top left hand corner of the screen, uh, put the mouse over that icon underneath the Google Plus icon, the menu pops up, and click on Communities. There we go, you'll see as GP Anonymous 1, uh, you're a member of GP Confidential 1, so there it is. Click on that icon. And here we have the opportunity as GP Honors 1 to uh, share a post on the GP Confidential 1 community. So click in the text box that appears in the middle of the screen. And write some text in that box. I personally would recommend using this first box more of a title than anything rather than posting the full case. Um, just so that when it is posted, um, passers-by can't idly see all the details of your of your post, but uh, maybe I'm a bit, being a bit fussy here. Um, but anyhow, that's what I do, and I say, let's say, in, uh, just for the sake of argument, let's say the, 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 the difficult case today was around a house call, so I've given it the title of Tough House Call. And you'll see below the attachment icons, you'll see a two uh, drop-down list, click on that, and select the cases category because that's where we're going to be putting it. Once you've done that, click on the green share button. Okay, there it is, that's posted. Now uh, I would suggest uh, clicking on the comment box underneath the post that you've just created to add the details of your case. And there we go, maybe slightly. Uh, simplistic uh, case for the purposes of demonstration, uh, but uh, 
you can make the post as long as you like. Uh, Google Plus has virtually no limit, uh, um, so you can make it uh, as detailed or as uh, uh, concise as you like. Uh, post the details in your case, and then click on the green post comment uh, button. Okay, now you're done. Um, so to go back to using Google Plus as yourself, you go back to the top right hand corner of the screen, find that funny blue icon, click on that, and then that familiar drop down menu, drop down menu appears, find your own name in the menu and click on that, and there you are, you're back using Google Plus as yourself. Um, now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to comment on my own case. Now, clearly, ordinarily, it would probably be another member of the group to do so, um, and probably makes sense for them to do so uh, in their own persona rather than anonymous, otherwise it would get extremely confusing. So I'll make some kind of uh, response, um, and then click on the post comment button. And that's it. So, uh, you should now be able to uh, set up a Google and Google Plus account uh, if you haven't done so already. Um, as said before, if you need help with this, there are guides available on YouTube and elsewhere. Um, I, I've shown you how to set up a private Google Plus community. I've also shown you how to add members to that community. Um, and I've shown you how to set up a page to allow members of the community to post anonymously associated the page with the community and I've made we've made all the members of the community managers of that page and lastly I've shown you how uh, you or any one of the members of the group can post either anonymously or openly within the group